Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Yan and I listen to debut songs, comeback songs, and songs I never heard of for the first time with you all. I also dance to K-pop and J-pop, so if you're interested, please check it out as well as I enjoy doing that as exercise. I also vlog and learn Japanese at the same time, so I have Japanese vlogs, monthly vlogs. If you're interested, please visit as I am learning both and if there are suggestions, please let me know on how to study better or um, how to not be afraid of vlogging in front of people would be great too. <laughs> Lastly, I have another channel that's more food related, learning how to bake, make, cook, uh, eat, introduce different food and drinks with you all. So if you're interested in that, please check out that channel too. These are all my hobbies and I just want to share them with you. My voice is getting a bit better, getting there, hanging in there, but um, yeah, I'm just overcoming a cold and getting a lot better. Woohoo! I can talk now. Anyways, the name of the group we're listening to today is Dreamcatcher. By the way, Dreamcatcher friends, if you haven't checked it, I did a whole entire song by Dreamcatcher finally. Super excited. Please check it out. Thank you for your support. Anyways, today's song is called Bon Voyage. It sounds a little sad, like saying goodbye, farewell. Is it like because it's a new chapter or a new, I guess, content that's coming up with Dreamcatcher, cat, Dreamcatcher, I want to say capture, like card capture, card captors, oh man, slowing down, we are going to listen to the song by Dreamcatcher, I can't talk today, I'm gonna blame because I'm cold, I'm sorry, um, Anyways, maybe they have a new theme or new concept up ahead, so that's why we're like partying ways with wherever we are. Or it's just a different song that can happen in any group where they just want to change it up a little bit than the usual. But for new viewers, I don't um, comment in between the MV. I watch the whole thing first and then we talk about it. So without further ado, let's check out their comeback song right now. Please pardon my hair, as it looks horrible compared to her hair. Her hair is up, my hair is up. It's just, how do celebrities get such nice hair? I know, I know, I know the answer, but it's just like, I don't have that maintenance and I don't have the money or the people. Anyways, she looks a little sad. She has red, orangey hair um, looking down, so it doesn't seem very intense, at least not at the moment. It seems a little sad just because of the way it's angled and she's not smiling nor looking mad, but maybe Bon Voyage is a sad song, so um, we'll see, but let's just get to it then. Dream Catchers Bon Voyage. Whew, tough day, <laughs> but listening to the song, I'm sure, will help um, me speak better. <laughs>
remember previous songs, it's a, they all have like different meanings, right? Um, uh, taking care of the universe, you know, being environmentally friendly and all that. But here, it seems like they're protecting something as well, but it's definitely more sci-fi, anime feel. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Bon voyage. They say bon voyage. Okay, because at first I was like, hold up. But anyways, lots of good things to talk about. Let's hop back to the beginning and start there. So I, it was really sad at first, I believe, um, until we got to like the heavy rock and all of that. I know that's their theme and style, but I just... For some reason, it was just a little different. But she seems to be kind of the main character, or she had a lot of screen time and a lot more distri line distribution. So perhaps like she's kind of the main person in the storyline, um, so it seems. Love her hair, not just the color, but the length looks really good on her. Uh, I recognize more faces of dream catcher, but... Um, and we'll work on the names later as I recognize more faces first. I also love her blue hair. Her vocal is great. Like, that's already a given. But I really love that blue on her and her um, contact lenses too. This scene reminds me very much of 80s for some reason. Probably has nothing to do with it, but that just popped in my head when I saw this scene. But for her, it seems like she's the one that stands out. She's making a difference and she's bright, like bright orange compared to the gray and white that we see. So it seems like they're going away, they're making changes, and it's hard because it's only a few people who are in this path or on this path, but they're doing it together. We see a little bit of a dystopian feel just because the worlds are broken um, on top of us, but also just um, a lot of things happening later on too. And I see this like little white alien thing with plants growing on its head. So I'm going to just call it Fuzzball for now. So I just noticed Fuzzball is joining this team. Is it like fighting and going against like toxic things or trash or just junk in this universe? Um, but they also look fantastic. Definitely fighting outfit gear. Definitely um, really cool style of outfit in my opinion. And so we were able to see everyone clearly, but I noticed some people had more lines than others, like I said, or just more camera time, and um, I guess that's the way it is, right? With so many gals and different MVs, we'll have more um, of a shine for different members. I don't know why she's riding a horse or sitting on a horse. Um, there's just a lot of things that I didn't really get. They were cool, but I was like, why? Or what's the point of it? Here, the girl with the green, sorry, blue hair, pardon me. Oh, hey, blue. Um, was protecting this other girl from this power, I think. I don't think she's the one that set that off. At least that's not what I thought I saw. But anyways, they were very powerful or they are very powerful beings in this story. And this outfit is very unique because it kind of reminds me of... Um, you know, the paper you cut, but not all the way, and there's just, like, ruffled paper um, that's blue. So, I don't know if that has anything either, because they all wear the same thing. Um, and then they have their own special outfits here, too. And so, yeah, lots of different things to look at. The opposites, lots of opposites, lots of angles, lots of magical things coming here and there, like this buzz ball here. Oh, with the crown, not a plant. It looks like the owl's head is upside down, you know? Um, but it seems like she created it, the rapper created it, and so it was just a lot of things happening. None of them looked really happy, um, but kind of serious, intense, um, having the dystopian versus plants here. Is this the only source of life that's left? Um, that type of a feel that I got. Fireworks came out of nowhere. I don't really have a theory for that, um, but it just got more and more intense as things were changing and, um, it seems like they are pro-nature, pro-green kind of a thing, and they're trying to save the world from it, I guess, even though it seems very difficult because there's only one dove left, like there's only one living thing left um, that, besides them. And so I will check the lyrics to get more ideas about it, but I just realized her outfit has some birds and greens too. Hey, maybe maybe um but they looked gorgeous they were beautiful love the hair and love the makeup and accessories i like most of their outfits <laughs> um don't get me wrong um, i'm very picky about outfits and overall groups too and then she like created this gem thing and shot it up to the sky and then it like destroyed this shield so help translate that for me but 
it's just very impactful <laughs> and also very powerful. I just um, would love to hear more and love to hear from you too. Continue to support Dream Catcher and enjoy Bon Voyage um, as this was another great song to enjoy. Um, choreo, we saw bits and pieces of it, but I will probably appreciate more when watching the music shows or fan cams as um, they did show a little bit, but not as much. Um, and that's fine because of the storyline and the close-upness of the members and all that. So that's totally fine with me too. I will head on there in just a bit. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video.